Zenodo is a general purpose open access repository that allows us to upload files up to 50 gigabytes. It provides digital object identifiers for citations and it is linked to GitHub and Binder. And it is free. It was created at CERN in 2013, where it is currently developed and maintained, being open science one of CERN's main purposes. The homepage is at zenodo.org. In the top bar, we can search for existing data, upload our data, look for data belonging to communities, log in or sign up. Underneath, there is a list of recent uploads. And at the bottom of the page, there are links to the documentation. In About, we can read about mission and values of the repository and where the name comes from. Then, we can browse privacy policy, terms of use, general policies for content, access and reuse, removal and longevity. Under longevity, we can read that items will be retained for the lifetime of the repository for the next 20 years at least. Under infrastructure, we can read about the Zenodo organization, where the funding comes from, the technical infrastructure they use for server management, data storage, metadata storage, and security. Under principles, we can see how Zenodo complies with the fair principles for scientific data management and stewardship. Finally, we can read about Zenodo's current and future projects and how to contact them. In addition, there are a blog where they communicated their last updates, a help page where, among other information, we can see frequently asked questions that are very practical. For example, can I change the file in the already published record or what are the size limits in Zenodo? And finally, there is a page for developers. To create an account, we can click on the sign up button. We can sign up using our GitHub account, our ORCID account, or using email address, username and password, and click on the sign up button. Once logged in, in the top right, we see our email address and the menu related to our account. As an example, I wanted to upload a CSV file containing data about publications on femoral knee cartilage segmentation. To upload my dataset, I click on Upload in the top bar and then the New Upload green button on the top right. To upload my file, I can click on the blue Choose File button or I can directly drag and drop my file. Once the name appears, I can click on Start Upload. There are several metadata fields that we can fill out in Zenodo. Some of them are recommended and some of them are required. Among the recommended ones, there is communities and I'm part of the quantitative musculoskeletal imaging community. Then we fill out upload type and in my case it's a dataset, but one can upload also publications, posters, presentations, etc. Then we fill out some basic information about the dataset. First, we reserve a digital object identifier that will allow others to easily and unambiguously cite the upload. We reserve a DOI by pressing this button. Publication day is today. As a title, I choose this one. In the other field, I enter first the family name and then given name, and I provide a short description of the dataset. The field's version, language, keywords, and additional notes are optional, so I leave them blank for now. Another required field is license. Access right can be open, embargo, restricted, and closed, and I choose open access. As a license, I choose the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International. Finally, there are more recommended and optional fields that I leave blank for now, and I save. To publish my dataset, I click on Publish, and I get uh, this warning. Once uh, the record is published, you will no longer be able to change the files in this upload. This is because a Digital Object Identifier DOI, will be registered immediately after publishing. You will still be able to update the record's metadata later. If you only want to create a test upload, please do so on the Nodo Sandbox. I click on I understand and my data is successfully published. And here is how it looks like. 
On the left side, I see a preview of my data and the uploaded file name. On the right side, I see my community, some statistics about views and downloads, publication date, DOI badge, communities again, and the license I chose. In addition, I can see two DOIs, one DOI for the current dataset version and one DOI that represents all versions and will always resolve to the latest one. I can share my data on social media. Here is how to cite my data and here I can export my data citation. Anytime after publication, I can edit any metadata field. For example, I want to link my dataset to my ORCID number. So I click on Edit. Here are the metadata I filled out previously. And under Others, I can add my ORCID number. I press Save, Published, and now the ORCID icon is next to my name. I can upload a new version of my data anytime. For example, I wanted to update my data about publications on femoral knee cartilage segmentation by adding the column Q containing links to PubMed after the column P here. To do so, I simply drag and drop my updated file. I click on Start Upload and on Publish. In the preview, I can see my modified file with the new column linked to PubMed. In the version panel, I can see now two versions of my dataset, version 2 that I've just uploaded and version 1 that I uploaded previously. If I click on version 1, I'm redirected to the first upload. Zenodo provides a warning saying that there is a new version of this record available and when I browse the preview, I see that the last column is here, as it was in my first upload. It is relevant to note that the two dataset versions have different DOIs, but we can cite all versions with this DOI that will always resolve to the latest one. There is much more to discuss about Zenodo, for example how to choose a license or how to integrate with GitHub and Binder. We will do this in the next videos. Also, if you have any comment or question, do not hesitate to write them below.